So for uh, oxidation of alcohols, got to talk about three different kinds. Uh, first things first, let's talk about uh, primary. And primary just means that uh, the alcohol uh, is attached to a carbon that has uh, two other hydrogens on it. So there's actually two alpha hydrogens um, that are to this uh, alcohol group. And if we add KMnO4, which is a pretty strong oxidizing agent. Whenever you think of oxidation, the uh, first thing that should pop into your head is uh, a widely used oxidizing agent like potassium permanganate. That's going to take the oxidation all the way to the uh, carboxylic acid. And um, another thing, when you think of oxidation of alcohols, always try to think of the introduction of this, this carbonyl group here, this C double bondo. And if you oxidize it even further, you're going to get um, the addition of the OH. So you have actually uh, uh, the final oxidation product in the primary alcohol is going to be a carboxylic acid. But let's say you want to take that same um, primary alcohol and you didn't want to oxidize it all the way to the carboxylic acid. You wanted to oxidize it only to the aldehyde. Okay. Well, with that, you would use something called PCC. PCC stands for, let's see if I get this right, pyridinium chlorochromate. And with that, we need to give credit to the uh, organic chemist from Harvard, the famous E.J. Corey, who developed this method in 1975. So, again, if you use KMnO4, you can oxidize the primary alcohol all the way to the carboxylic acid. But if you want to, if you want to stop it at the aldehyde, um, you're going to want to use PCC. You can't use the KMnO4. <coughs> Excuse me on the uh, primary alcohol. So with that, that'll take us to uh, secondary alcohols, and secondary alcohols, of course are attached to a, uh, it's an alcohol group attached to a carbon with just, uh, actually just one alpha hydrogen. One hydrogen is going to be attached to this carbon here. Uh, the other two groups are going to be carbon groups. And secondary alcohols are going to want to use CRO3 or chromic acid. And <clears throat> since there's only one alpha hydrogen in a secondary alcohol, you're not going to be able to oxidize this to either the aldehyde or the carboxylic acid. So secondary alcohols are always going to be oxidized to what? Well, to ketones, right? Because if you throw a double bond O group on a secondary alcohol, well, there's still this other carbon group over here. So uh, the, the furthest you can go in terms of oxidation in this case would be just the uh, ketone. Okay, so let's actually... Write that in. Carboxylic acid aldehyde ketone. And next, of course, uh, after the primary alcohol and the secondary alcohol just one left yep tertiary and tertiary has no uh, alpha hydrogens to this alcohol group here so which is a requirement actually of the oxidation reaction so if we try to oxidize it we're gonna get no reaction or just an R. You write in no alpha hydrogens. Again, alpha hydrogens mean that the carbon group that the alcohol, uh, actually, I'm sorry, the carbon that the alcohol group is attached to needs to have some hydrogens on it for any of these oxidation reactions to work. So 
So there you have it.